So we're coming up on the home stretch here of winter, and that means it's time to start looking forward to springtime and start looking at some springtime scents. And I have a brand new release here from Mudcat Whiskers. It's called Strawberry Hill, and we're going to be taking a look at that today. So welcome, guys. My name's Brian. This is my Beards and Banjos YouTube channel, where we try to help you grow your best beard possible. Thank you so much for joining me. And I did a big review for Mudcat Whiskers. I think it was last year. My years are kind of running together at this point, but I'll put a link or a card and a link in the description. You can go back and check that out where we did lots of products, had oils, a lot of different oils and uh, some butters and a balm and the wash, if I remember correctly. Uh, had a lot of different scents, had Zydeco, Jean Lafitte, Boudreaux, Jean Luc, and Bayou Black. Uh, and they all have a little bit of a Cajun uh, spin on that. So uh, a pretty interesting scent. So if you haven't tried out Mudcat Whiskers, uh, you may want to try it out just to see if you vibe with the scents or not. Uh, so pretty interesting there. They're all kind of... Um, uh, Cajun inspired, if you will. Uh, there's a lot of scents uh, around the uh, city of New Orleans inspired scents that I, I haven't tried some of those. I really would like to in the future. But today we're talking about a brand new release called Strawberry Hill. And the first thing I want you to get out of your brain is this is not a food scent. Let me repeat, it's not a food scent at all, in my opinion. Uh, so it's described as crisp cologne, fresh citrus, exotic spice, and hints of strawberry. So I get a little bit of the crisp cologne, just uh, I get crisp cologne, a, a tad bit of the citrus, and then a hint of strawberry. And it's a hint of strawberry. It's not very much strawberry forward. So it's kind of like a nice uh, cologne, lighter cologne with hints of the strawberry. And it pretty much like uh, what it says there. So uh, you kind of have to get out of your brain when you see strawberry something you think it's going to be like a, a biting into a strawberry, that kind of thing. So to me, it's reminiscent of uh, going into a Bath and Body Works and getting like a foaming hand soap that's like strawberry something or another. Uh, it kind of reminds me of that. So it's also pretty gender neutral. So if you have a, a lady friend that likes using oils and butters and those kind of things, I think this would really work well for either uh, a, a male or a female on this one. So the prices are absolutely great. And uh, I'm going to give you the list of retail prices, but I am an affiliate and I think this is the strongest affiliate code I have. I can get you 20% off using the code BANJO. All right, so we got $14 for an oil, that's the retail, then you get 20 more percent off. So it becomes really, really reasonable to try out a new company if you haven't. $17 for a two ounce bomb, $20 for a four ounce butter, uh, big one, uh, $29 for oil bomb combo, $33 for an oil butter combo, and $51 for a trio. Uh, so let's talk about the carrier blend. So it's a pretty basic carrier blend for the oil. So it's jojoba, hemp seed, argan. Now the website says vitamin E and it doesn't say vitamin E on the bottle. So I'm not sure. I'm, uh, I'm guessing that uh, the owner, Nick, will comment in the, uh, in the comments there. You can check that out about the vitamin E if that's important to you. It's always good for skin to have your vitamin E in there. So pretty basic. Uh, it does have a good feel in beard. Uh, however, I want to read you, even though I don't have the butter, uh, I have used the butter in the past and it feels really good and it's got quite a bit of a stronger lineup for carriers so let me read those ingredients to you for the butter it's takuma butter sow seed butter kupawasa butter babasu oil cucumber seed oil castor oil tamanu oil meadow foam seed oil one of my favorites jojoba oil hemp seed oil and argan oil so i think i would actually prefer or suggest that maybe nick uh to to beef this one up a little bit if you only got really three uh carrier oils in it maybe put some meadow foam try out some uh some of the tamanu and castor and those kind of things see what you can come up with to get uh, maybe a little bit more variety in the uh, in the oil lineup. But like I said, it, it works well. Uh, but when I see some of those other oils that he's using already in the butter, it's like, hmm, I wonder that what that would do for the oil. In any case, I suggest that you check out the website. There's a lot of cool looking scent profiles. That sounds really good. Check that out. And then check out the Strawberry Hill. If you're into those light crisp, crisp colognes with a hint of strawberry, uh, you can check that out. Don't forget to use the code Banjo20 if you do make an order so you can save yourself some money and support my channel. And I always appreciate that guy. And we'll be seeing you on the next video. Thanks.